Yo, what's poppin' in, guys? This is your boy Offline Nuzlocke, and welcome back to the 10th episode of our Pokemon Draylock Season 2. If you guys did not check out the last episode, make sure you do so, because spoilers will be on the screen in 3, 2, 1. Yes, guys, we defeated the Team Galactic Admin, Morris, in the last episode, so make sure you guys go check out the video. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also leave a like on the video because it is very much appreciated. Comment down below what do you think about the team. But before we get to a team recap this episode, we're going to deposit all our Pokemon except for one. Because we need to make some changes. Yes, yeah, so we're going to revive the fossils that we got a few episodes back. Because it's time. It's finally time to uh, revive the fossils. But before that, let's go ahead and deposit our team members doesn't matter who because we're gonna uh, revive all the fossils that we have currently and yes I will be able to use them all but I will just uh, I will just be using one of each because the game gives us like a lot of fossils and this is a Nuzlocke so I'll take one of each and we get an Aerodactyl which I'm gonna name Arrow because that's that's a sick nickname in my opinion. Um, Arrow the Aerodactyl is in the squad. We're gonna revive a Helix fossil next, and we will be right back once we get the Helix fossil. There we go. There is the uh, Helix fossil Omanyte, and there's only one named for the Helix fossil, and it's Lord Helix himself. Um, and that's a perfect nickname for. Helix Fossil, so we have Lord Helix making a return on the channel. Then up next, we are going to revive the Dome Fossil, I would say, because that's the next one in line, and he's like, get out now, and then he's going to be like, oh no, you are late. So we're going to do that. Unacceptable. Here's your Kabuto. All right. Um, I'm I'm gonna name my Kabuto Armada because I usually name my uh, Kabutos and Kabutops Armada because you know it's like a battleship and like it has a cool armor. Next up, we are gonna go ahead and revive our uh, root fossil because that's the next up in line, and we're gonna go ahead and grab it, and it's gonna be a leap. Uh, Lilip is a pretty cool mon. I don't have a name for Lilip, so we're gonna name you uh, Wenom. Uh, Wenom, because uh, Wenom is a cool nickname. Even though you are not a poison type, I will take the nickname. One more Pokemon. No, no. I, I clicked the wrong one, guys. I will deposit this Pokemon, and I will not be using that Omanyte. I will release that right away. I misclicked, but it's okay. So we're going to go ahead and deposit. Well, first off, I'm going to... They are all level 20s, which is nice. I'm going to get Bob out of here in the second box because it's on the team and I do not want to... You know, I want to keep things organized because I, I'm, I'm an organized person. So we're going to go ahead and check out the Aerodactyl. It's a careful nature, which is not good, not bad. I mean, I'll take it, whatever. Then up next, we have a Omanyte. Let's go ahead and look at the summary. It's an imp impish omanite with swift swim. Okay, modest Kabuto, which is not good. Timid, uh, timid Lilip, which is not good, not bad. I mean, pretty, pretty bad. Uh, pretty bad luck with the fossils right now. Not gonna lie. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and grab that omanite again because we accidentally revived that omanite. We're gonna go ahead and release that. Um, so we're gonna do that. Omanyte, whatever. I'm not going to nickname you. We're going to go back. Why am I doing that? Because I'm in a loop. Uh, we're going to go ahead and revive the Claw Fossil. That's going to be a Armaldo uh, or Anorith, which is, I love love me an Anorith. I'm going to name you um, Leorio from our Pokemon. Um, Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, Soul Link. Leorio was a big part of the team. I will show you guys the natures and stuff in a little bit. We'll go ahead, we're going to go ahead and ta uh, take out the armor fossil now. Armor fo fossil is pretty sick in my opinion. Shield on is a pretty good mon. I mean defensively. I don't know what to name you so I am going to name you uh, Warren. Um, like literally Warren. Uh, I don't know why, but we're going to name him Warren. And then we have Skull Fossil, which is going to be a Cranidos. I mean, 
one thing you know you should know about Crane Dose is head smash. That's all you need to know about Crane Dose. And I'm gonna name you Louie. Um after after a playthrough that I watched, Louie is a good nickname for Crane Dose. It has been a while since that playthrough was posted, but not it's on YouTube. If you find it or if you get the reference, let me know in the comments down below. Uh Sassy Nature is not good. We have the Swift Swim ability as well. Sassy Nature again with the sturdy. That's okay. Naive, I will take naive, I guess. I, I don't really don't know. Pretty good movesets overall, which is not bad. Um we're gonna go ahead and talk to dudes in here because uh let's see what we get here because we are here in the museum and we don't need to come back. So we're going to do that. We also have a certain task before we do anything else. But we're going to do that once we have the party. And I, will, I won't I will do a team recap, I guess. You guys know the team. The team has been the same since the past few episodes. So make sure you guys, if you guys want to check out the moves, go ahead and check out the, the team builder. Well, team builder. I mean, we're going to release this overnight, as I said. Um, Check out the last few episodes if you guys haven't. Uh, the teams are basically the same. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch out the Grotto uh, with the Shield on and switch out the Charmeleon with the with the whatever uh, fossil is left. Cranny dose. Because we are going to need we are going to need that we're going to need them fossils. But I'm going to go ahead and move my friend. Uh, what is it called? Aerodactyl there. I don't know what what am I doing right now. Well, I'm just organizing my box just so it looks pretty. Let's go ahead and store the Charmeleon for now uh, in the other boxes and grab our team member because uh, we're gonna need that. I'm gonna I have I have Aerodactyl in my party for a specific reason and you guys will know the reason in a little bit. But this episode is gonna be all about getting them encounters and stuff. So. We're going to do that right quick and be on our way. I'm going to go ahead and grab Bob. Aura can stay in the PC for a little bit. I know Aura has been with us since the start, which is pretty cool. Luna, Aura, some of my favorite members on the team. Even though I don't tend to have favorites, I, I have to have some mods that I like over some other but i like all i like the team right now leela has been the leela hasn't let me down once and i love that like if i found a pokemon that's like like it's not that good right ponyta in a normal playthrough wouldn't be that good but leela has proven its worth and i am all about it and i grabbed i grabbed uh bob for this reason only because we are we learn Yawn. Okay, now here's the thing. I would love Curse, but Yawn is such a good move. And I am keeping Bob for defensive purposes. So Yawn is a better move. We can uh, get the NPCs to switch if we use Yawn. And I love that about it. Now here we go. We have to talk to this person. And she shows. Uh, we show her the Aerodactyl. And she gives us... TM80 I believe it is and it is a rock slide yes we got rock slide and that was the only reason I had aura uh, aerodactyl arrow on the squad now I know I need dazzling gleam but I still haven't found it so it's 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 a work in progress guys it's a work in progress for that clip fairy I need to remember that but we're gonna have we're gonna put or um, aura back on the squad and let's go ahead and do some encounters let me see if we can grab great balls i don't think we can but we're gonna try to see if there are great balls there are no great balls okay i'm gonna grab some heal balls and stuff like that because it's it's really important to have some balls diversity like different kinds of uh pokeballs are gonna help us um catch mons better because i literally failed uh three encounters uh last episode no the episode uh, before that so we failed our statics and um, an encounter in the old chateau, but not too upset about it because we have so many encounter uh, encounters in the PC and like we have so much so much in the game. So we're gonna keep going. This is gonna be a fun fun run. I am not sure what we're gonna do this episode. Maybe I will snag earthquake in this episode if it's there, as in um, the wayward cave. We're gonna do some wayward cave exploration. We get the, uh, we get that useful item. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab. So this is our encounter, actually. Spoink is gonna be our encounter for 
the whatever it's called bicycling uh cycling road or something uh we're gonna go ahead and catch this point i'm gonna go ahead and name you um perry i i don't know why i want to name you perry but you there you go perry it is okay we're gonna go ahead i that is a really bad encounter if i have ever seen one but we're gonna go ahead and check out if it's actually your encounter. I'm pretty sure it's an encounter. Oh my goodness, Stunky would have been so better. Uh, I love I love um, using different kinds of Pokemon, and I'm trying to use every single Pokemon in the Pokedex of every single game. So, well, every single region, I would say. But, yeah, let's go ahead and check out Perry the spoink it is from route 206 let me just check if i have any route 206 mods because it would be a uh non-valid encounter if if i don't have that uh we also have some you know shinies in the box but we have a shiny on our team but let's go ahead and check out if we have a route 206 encounter i'm pretty sure we don't so we should be fine here yeah we don't so we are chilling we are good to go we have a spoink and a dream all right, now um, I would I would go ahead and battle, but we have to do some story stuff, so we're gonna take care of that. I would also like to get a Wayward Cave encounter. Gibble is the choice here. I would like to get, but we'll see what we get. I would love a Gibble. Gibble is an S tier Pokemon, as some would say, in a Nuzlocke because uh, it is just so useful. Magby would have been sick. Uh, you trap me, okay. We're gonna go ahead and rock tomb you because you, we have a moves we have the moves that miss a lot and that's okay we're gonna go ahead and go to this hiker which we are gonna skip right away and hopefully you guys are enjoying the music i have changed up the music between the past few episodes uh well this episode actually so hopefully you guys like the music i i'm going back to the nostalgic music uh that was used in my channel before and i'm down about that so we're gonna, we could have had a Gligar, okay. This is the most broken mon in this game. I have swept a lot of Elite Four members with Gliscor using Sword Stains and Moves. That's it. Uh, but I guess we don't get the... Oh, we don't have a Super Potions. That is gonna be a problem. Uh, you know what, guys? I will be right back after the cut. I'm, I need to grab some healing items because we can't make it without them. So, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, we are back. Um, this is going to be a longer of an episode because I literally, I we have done nothing. And I would like to get some things done before we end of the episode. So, we're going to go ahead and go to Wayward Cave. I have grabbed some repels so we don't have to face Pokemons in the grass. And we're going to fight this hiker dude because he, he is, seems pretty cool. Now, Torkoal is kind of scary for Lucario. So, we're going to go ahead and switch up. He just burns me straight up, so that's not fun. I'm going to go ahead and rock to him. Actually, I'm going to yawn him so he can stop cursing up. And I'm going to go ahead and heal up the burn because we probably have something to heal up the burn. If I don't have a burn heal, I will be I will be mad. But we have the Rostberry, so that's fine. He's going to curse up again. Um, and we're going to go ahead and um, dig right here. He's going to be asleep, but that's fine. All right, guys, sorry about the cut. I had to do something really quickly. Um, So he's asleep. I think Rock Tomb is a good bet here. We are lowering his speed. I would like the sun to go away so uh, we could do some things, but he is going to body slam us, which is not good. We're just going to go into, what is it called, Luna and finish this off because Luna is the goat. You are going to, we're going to crunch you and... We die to burn. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't like this. When I lose Pokemon to stupid things like this, I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and check the summaries because this Torkoal is actually destroying the team. I'm going to go ahead and go to... I can, I can go to Lucario and just finish this off, honestly. If I lose Aura, I will be upset. Remember when I said if I lose Aura, I will be upset? Yes, I meant this. I am upset right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we lost two, two of our Pokemons that were literally the core of the team. I was so happy with them. I'm like, Luna and Aura are my favorite team members on the team right now. And I am so happy with them and everything like that. 
I lost them, and now I have no clue what to do. I know we have some great backups in the PC, but this just hurt like crap. I the, the stupid Torkoal has been a problem. Okay, guys, I, I am not even joking. I know I could have played that much, much better, but sometimes you just make dumb mistakes and this happens. So, you know what? This is all on me. I 100% take it. Um, but we lost two good team members and now this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. I have to, I have to get a new team member and, uh, train them all up and stuff like that. So this is where I'm going to end the episode guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace out offline squad.